Hello, I'm Rina Malde, a director in the UK team of Deloitte's Global Investments and Innovation Incentives team, supporting companies' cash flow across the R&D lifecycle through assistance with grant funding, cash credits from development costs and tax savings from the available patent incentives. Working with many fintechs, we know that claiming R&D tax reliefs early on can be important and can get cash into the business at a critical time. Here's some of the key points you need to know about UK R&D tax relief. UK tax legislation provides generous R&D tax relief for both large and small companies with substantial cash credits available to loss-making companies. For small and medium-sized companies, SMEs, the benefit is a tax saving of up to 24.7%, or for loss-making companies, a cash credit of up to a third of the development costs. Companies can potentially benefit from the R&D reliefs if, for example, they're involved in the development of complex software systems. These projects must meet two key criteria to qualify, demonstrate an advance in science or technology achieved through the resolution of scientific or technological uncertainties. Some examples in the fintech sector that we've seen recently include payment processing systems, significant advances in calculation engines, artificial intelligence, predictive modelling and complex algorithms, or significant new functionality that may position the company as an industry leader, software development intended to leverage CRM involving predictive analytics for fraud detection and technologically innovative data warehousing techniques. The costs that can qualify for R&D tax relief are limited to staffing costs of employees of the business undertaking R&D activities, payments to contractors working as part of the development team, subcontracted R&D and software utility costs apportioned appropriately. Claims are made in a company's tax return and there's a statutory deadline of two years from the end of an accounting period to make a claim. Note that there are certain conditions required for SME claimants. Key changes are expected to be made to the UK R&D regimes from April 2023 including data and cloud computing and hosting costs to be included as qualifying expenditure, expansion of the meaning of R&D to include mathematics, restriction of relief for payments for overseas R&D made to contractors and subcontractors, and changes to the administration and compliance process. Fintechs which are further into the development life cycle and profit making may also want to consider claiming to apply the patent box tax rules. Patent box provides for a reduced rate of corporation tax to be applied to profits attributable to patents. Software providing a technical solution to a technical problem, technical software, may be patentable. The patent box benefit is closely related to R&D expenditure and requires the tracking and tracing of patents against R&D expenditure. It's definitely worthwhile considering whether you're undertaking activities that qualify for R&D tax reliefs and even if you're making claims already, checking that allowable amounts have been included. And those with patenting technology should certainly look into claiming under the patent box regime, which could reduce your corporation tax liability.